All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for the second part of our quarterfinals tonight. We have three rounds of action coming to you in the welterweight division. Our second part of our eight-man tournament. Now, fighting out of the red corner, he's sporting the black trunks with the red trim. He weighed in at 147 pounds and represents Blade Fist Muay Thai. He's sporting a record of five wins, one loss, representing New Hyde Park. NJ, the victorious one, Mac. And fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the black trunks with the green trim, weighing in at 146 pounds and representing West Side Muay Thai with a very impressive record of 13 wins and only two losses. Two of his wins by way of knockout. From Ottawa, Canada, Dirty Ben Price. A little bit for me, guys. Thank you. All right, guys, we got over the rules. I expect you to follow them. Fight, fight, fight clean, fight hard, fight fair, protect yourself at all times. Listen to my instructions at all times. In the event of a stoppage, go to neutral corner so I tell you to come out. Touch them up. Let's get to work. Good luck. Hey. Ben Pride's bringing a lot of experience to this ring tonight. NJ Max got the hometown behind him, though. NJ Max pushing right away. You know, and Ben's doing a good job. NJ Max pushing the pace, and Ben's doing a really good job of staying calm and ca almost counterfighting at this point. Yeah, Ben looks to be a little bit of a stiffer, more upright fighter. NJ Max got a nice little flow to him. Good clinch work. Yeah, ben, Ben's hitting the knees. He's scoring a lot of points here with these knees. And you may not get as much damage with those knees, but you're definitely racking the points up. Definitely. It's going to take a lot of punches to catch up to that. <laughs> You know, in Muay Thai scoring, the knees, how many punches do you think you have to land to equal one knee? Well, I mean, it really depends on the power of the knee versus the power of the punch. You know, all, in Muay Thai, all techniques have the ability to score correctly or to score well. It just depends on the power of each technique. Well, the damage of the individual technique is really what we're looking at here. Ben really looks like he's got a focused attack. Looks like when he's landing, he's landing with pretty good authority. Yeah, every, everything Ben's throwing, almost everything Ben's throwing is landing with really solid. Ben's NJ picking Mack. and choosing. NJ Max still calm, relaxed. He's throwing good combinations. Both fighters trying to really figure out that distance, find a hole in each other's guard. That was a nice low kick there. Working that clinch again. That was a good first round. I've got to give that one, though, to Ben. He was more effective in the clinch. Ben's experience is paying off. He's a very calm fighter. Yeah, you can definitely see and he's that. And he's working the angles and the distance, and it's a subtle thing. Max really scoring with that cross. If he, if he could just set that up, he might be able to get a good shot knockdown in here. Yeah, he needs to hit. If he needs, he's hitting him, but he's not hitting him that hard with it. Exciting flying knee by NJ Mack, but did no damage. Now he's actually doing a lot better in the clinch, controlling. He's looking for that big Ben dunk. turned it again. No, but Ben's, Going Ben's right working. back to what he's been doing. Hitting solid knees. Really nice turn. Beautiful, beautiful turn to NJ Mack's body. Locked up that leg and slammed him. Nice clinch, working that knee again. Working that big knee, looking ben, for that big sweep again as NJ Max pressing forward, Ben's looking to dump him. Yeah, again, it's, it's, it's kind of like new school versus old school again. A little bit more boxing style, straight aggression, where Ben's working the turns, a little bit more of a subtle Muay Thai game. Really trying to power through with that back leg. 
Again, that, that big back leg. Yeah. Strowman ben, with a band. It doesn't care what he hits. He just wants to hit something. Ben, ben has a great game plan for this fight. Staying calm, confident. Every shot he throws is meaningful. Now let's see how long that shin can hold up. You know, first fight, throwing that with everything you've got by the end of the night, you know those welts start to add up. And this is an effective way to grind. He's, he's winning the fight in the clinch. He's, he's definitely winning the fight in the clinch. You know, and this is what I've been talking about earlier. The winner of this tournament, it really is going to boil down to who wants it because the final two guys, they're both going to be beat up. Their shins are both going to hurt. And who's going to want it a little bit more? NJ Mack really does well in the initial contact, but then Ben controls him. So again, in the second round, you have a bit of a flurry, some nice contact from NJ Mack, but Ben scores with, a, with nice high kicks, really good clinch work, hits those knees with authority, controls most of the round. What he's doing in this round. Here we go, third and final round. Yeah, Ben's using his distance a bit there. Nice counter. Referee calls it a slip, which was correct. NJ needs to really work on that distance. Get that jab flowing a little bit. Find that distance. Once that hand touches Ben, then you can unleash those big shots. Having a lot of trouble finding his distance to get those hands to land with authority, though. Ben's really moving trouble. in and out in the right rhythm. Back again, he's pushing straight, but he's not doing too much in the clinch, where Ben's always got the knees firing off. Yeah, and NJ, he... Uh, he initiates the clinch very well, gets right in there, but then doesn't do a whole lot in the clinch. Yeah, he's more wrestling in the clinch where Ben's being effective. With Ben's his scoring striking. with those knees. He uses his head to, to put that pressure, pulling those hips back a couple inches, and the knee just goes. He's, he's really working effectively inside. That was a beautiful knee to the liver. This is really tiring also when you have a big guy just hanging on your neck and sitting on you. Yeah, ben, Ben's got a couple inches on MJ right here, and he's really, in that clinch, he's really just putting the pressure on him. Good return low kick by Ben. Trying to get that cross in constantly, Mac is. But again, those kicks are adding up on his forearms. The clinch work's adding up too. Your hands get heavy trying to push the big guy off you. Yeah, right now, NJ, he's pushing Ben, walking forward, but he's not finding that range. He's not landing anything significant. In the clinch, he needs to be working right now. You know, it's, it's really hard, though, when you got a guy that's bigger than you leaning on you in the clinch. It really tires you out. That was a really nice turn to push kick. Yeah, ben, Ben's experience Man, is really showing right really here. really landing. Oh, we're going for it at the end there. Uh, too little, too late. That was a really respectable showing by both fighters. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we have our winner by unanimous decision. Representing Ottawa, Canada, Dirty Ben Fry. So the judges saw it the same way. Dirty Ben did. will be advancing to the semifinals.